Today, I'm going to do a classic experiment of putting an egg into a bottle. Many people have asked me if this experiment is real, because there are several versions on YouTube, but nobody explains how it's done. Well, I'll show it in two ways. For the first method, you'll need a wide mouth bottle. Back in the day, these bottles were milk bottles. But that was back in your grandfather's time. So, back in your time, you can use a wide mouth grape juice bottle. You'll need an egg, some cotton, and a toothpick to place the cotton inside the bottle. You put the cotton on the tip of the toothpick, light the cotton, drop it inside the bottle, and immediately place the egg on top. So, Did you see that? The egg went perfectly into the bottle. But one thing I might not have told you is that this egg is a hard-boiled egg. That's why, when it enters, it gets squeezed completely. The first time I did this experiment, I didn't know the egg was boiled. I tried several times to fit the egg with its shell on top, but the egg wouldn't go into the bottle at all. Because it can't seal all the tiny gaps and completely close the bottle's mouth. But now, I'll show you a different, cooler way to do it. To do it this way, you will need two birthday candles. I'll stick these two candles into the top of the hard-boiled egg and light the candles. And you'll see it go in a completely different way. What happens inside this bottle that makes the egg go all the way in? Well, what happens is there's a pressure called atmospheric pressure. It's pushing on us all the time, but we don't even notice. It's pushing on everything you see around you. When I heat the bottle, the fire warms the inside of the bottle. The air heats up inside, and the pressure becomes very strong. If you place the egg on top while the bottle is heating, you'll notice some air escaping from the bottle. When it cools down, the air loses pressure. The flame inside goes out, the air cools, and the air inside loses pressure. Then, the atmospheric pressure becomes much stronger than the pressure inside the bottle. So because of this pressure difference, the egg is pushed into the bottle. This also happens when you turn the bottle upside down and light the wick. The pressure outside also pushes from bottom to top because it pushes in all directions. In fact, this pressure is much stronger than the weight of the egg, which causes the egg to go into the bottle. 